So here in section two, we're going to talk about obesity. Um, so what is obesity? It is like excessive accumulation of body fat. Uh, for example, fat should be like around uh, 20 to 27 percent of body tissues in women and 15 to 22 percent in men. If it is like more than that, so probably that person is obese. Um, your book actually, it is page 86. Um, there is a table, BMI table. I guess you are familiar with BMI. It is body mass, a mass index. Um, so the table actually showing how, like, for example, normal weight should be, how overweight um, individual can be and how obese person can be. And like, there is like extreme obesity and so on. So there is a, there is a spectrum for that. Um, if you want to work in uh, health psychology or any sort of um, like health majors, you have to be uh, very familiar with the idea of obesity because obesity is just very related to so many disease um, and problems in humans. For example, death rates, they're going to be higher for people who are just obese or overweight or extreme obese. Um, for example, problems such as cancers, I mean, very serious diseases like cancers and cardiovascular uh, disease, they are higher um, in obese people. Heart failure, it is higher. Type 2 diabetes it is just higher. What else? <clears throat> so they're going to be increased risks of uh, surgery or, for example, childbearing in obese people as well. No matter you are a um, like a woman or you are a man, um, you're going to have problem. I mean, most likely in having children if you are obese. Um, they're gonna be early mortality rate and disability in obese people as well. Psychological distress gonna be higher. Social and economic stress gonna be higher as well. I guess you know, I mean, you're familiar with the idea of uh, social and economical and economic stress in obese people. Uh, all of us suffered from some sort of um, social stigma when we were kids, especially around our puberty. Um, the situation going to be even harder for someone who is overweight um, in their adolescence because uh, they're going to be pressured from your friends group and even from your family that they're going to ask you constantly to just go uh, to the doctor and just lose some weight. There are going to be some names that people are going to call you if you are overweight, uh, especially in your childhood and all that. Um, I was uh, struggling with um, some extra pounds when I was younger, like around my puberty. I guess this is just very normal for every girl to just have some extra pounds at that point. I remember that I was just going out. I mean, it's like it is like for, let's say, 15 years ago, but it's still I remember that um, that I was just going out with my friends and and my friends, they were like four years older than me. So they already passed that time of puberty and they were just all very like good looking and attractive. But I was like, let's say 12 or something and or maybe even younger, like nine, 10 something. And um, so we were just um, walking down the street and yes, I was just overweight at that point. There is no shame. Um, but I remember that a guy um, right in front of me, he was just passing with his friends in front of my friend. He called me, oh, maybe she's pregnant because she's just very fat. Uh, or maybe, And his friends also, they just called me fatty or something like that, which is just very rude at that point. And I still remember that it actually impacted me very negatively to the point that around my uh, puberty, I wanted to lose, like, I um, wanted to lose weight because I wanted to be skinny and all that. And like back then, curvy, like being curvy wasn't like a thing. Nowadays, it's just very attractive and like, you know, beauty standard. But back then, being curvy wasn't. So yeah, I worked so hard to lose some weight and still I'm getting PTSD every time I'm actually thinking about that. I mean, I'm laughing about it, but Deep down, I feel like that kind of comments are just very negative um, and it shouldn't be out there, especially for someone who is like around their puberty. Yes, I wish I could just lose some weight, but like some um, some comments, they are not constructive, I would say. So if you can just be very mindful about people around yourself, because uh, um, some part of obesity can be genetics, right? It's not like all about that person. So at least we can just be mindful about um, our words and the way we're gonna put our 
like um, sentences uh, sentence around like people with uh, struggling with obesity. Um, the least we could do is just being mindful. Um, so um, it seems like Americans, they are just the most obese people in the world. 68 of people in the US, they are just overweight. Um, there are just so many reasons out there uh, why people, they are just overweight in the United States. First of all, first of all it's going to be um, food portion, meal portion in America. <laughs> food here is just very big. Like each portion is just like this. But I mean, in Georgia it's okay, but like whenever I'm just visiting my family in Texas, I'm just getting amazed by food portion. Like it's gonna be like four meals for me, seriously. It's just very big and it does have like everything in it and big chunk of uh, meat, big chunk of rice. And I don't know, like all the crazy stuff and, gre and greasy stuff. Uh, your book actually saying that the muffins portion is just getting bigger compared to 1957 and like soda consumption is just getting more compared to like uh, 50 years ago. So of course people are getting obese. Again, we have to circle back to the idea of social engineering, maybe governments or maybe like food companies, they have to actually think about how they could just reduce uh, meal portion or I mean, if they would do that, people go crazy. <laughs> so good luck doing that. Um, but yeah, there should be some sort of um, solutions from policymakers and governments to just resolve that issue. It seems like 30 to 49 people around their 30 to 40, they are just too heavy to just move their bodies um, and just do like some routine household like chores, like everyday chores. Um, so that being said, it means like if they are, if they could just make it to 50 because like uh, research showed that when people they are just um, extreme obese, they cannot make it to 50. But if they would make to 50, um, definitely they, they're going to be disabled and they need extra care or, for example, nursing home or um, a nurse that could just help them 24 seven. Um, so that's not good. And if we have someone around us uh, with extreme obesity, uh, we can just uh, help them and provide them some resources to just lose some pounds. So this way, uh, this way they can just be able to just do their chores and uh, live um, longer, hopefully. It seems like one uh, in four people over 50, they are obese um, and they are, they do have difficulties performing basic tasks, for example, bathing, dressing, walking, and like, you know, everyday chores. So that that's not a good news. Um, one important point that actually amazed me, I uh, wasn't aware of that until I read one sentence from your book, then I did my research and I found that it's correct. It seems like uh, the location of the fat in your body is just very important. For example, if you have like fat in your stomach or like uh, in your abdominal, it can push your organs. So this way your organs, they cannot perform in a good way. So you can get like serious problem and that's crazy. For example, if you would have fat in your hips or in your arms, it wouldn't be that much dangerous. But if you do have fat in your abdominal, you have to actually do something about that because it doesn't let your body to perform. Uh, it can cause problem for your digestion. It can even go to your renal system. It can just uh, push your heart. It, it is crazy. So take that seriously. It is very important. Um, I mean, we already talked about uh, some um, serious mental problem when it comes to obesity, anxiety, stress, all of that. Um, they are serious in uh, overweight people. Um, so yeah, we have to be careful about that part as well. First of all, we have to be careful about our own interaction with them. And um, and if we, we are that person uh, who has like some extra pounds or overweight, um, we have to work on ourselves mentally as well. Just be more resilient, just be like more, I mean, at least just more open about all those negative comments that it's very hard, I know that. And I feel you, I've been there. So um, yeah, the stress and anxiety just higher in obese people. Uh, obesity in childhood, um, there are gonna be so many factors that can lead to obesity in childhood. First of all, genetics. 
I mean, that poor baby, they cannot do much uh, if they are coming from uh, obese parents. Another one going to be sedentary lifestyle. Um, if if we are um, overweight, if we do have some biological background that we know that they can just pass to our children, the least we could do is just um, talk before getting pregnant uh, to a doctor, to a dietitian, to just prevent um, our child to just be obese. We can just create a specific lifestyle for them to just make them more active. We can actually monitor. Uh, their diet. So this way we can just help them to just have good early eating habits that could prevent from obesity. SCS culture and obesity. It seems like SCS or social economic uh, status can just impact a lot um, to obesity. Um, social class and culture, they are very important. It seems like race is a factor when it comes to uh, being overweight. African American women and Hispanic women, they are just more prone to obesity. I would say it is just more in other races as well. Um, if they would, you know, conduct a study, they can understand that. Because, uh, like most of the research here, it's just about African American women and also Hispanic women as minorities. I know that there are like more minorities, for example, if they would do more research on, uh, for example, uh, Indian women, they might get the same result. I don't know, but like Indians, they do have a good diet. Like they are just very careful about their calorie intake. So I'm, I'm not sure, but I wish there would be more research about this. That being said, it seems like um, race is not a factor for men. For example, African-American men or Hispanic men, they don't have this problem. Like they wouldn't get obese because of their race. Uh, it is just more um, like common in women. I do have a conspiracy uh, theory. I feel like um, they are not doing good research on men because it is not really rewarding for them. Because like all pharmaceutical companies, they want to sell their substances, their products to women. So this way, like the marketing goes well, they can just sell more. But it doesn't work on men, so that's why they wouldn't just try studying men in a good way. But I feel like race can, I mean, it can be a factor for men as well. I mean, this is just my idea because, like, there is no research. And and whenever there is no research, I'm getting more suspicious, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, they say it's not the case for men. Depression, it's going to be higher for obese people, people who are depressed. People who are just extraversion or impulsive, they can just be overweight. There is positive correlation. Social network and siblings and friends influence is real when it comes to obesity. So basically, whenever you have like more obese people around yourself, you just, you know, you just say that, okay, everybody just kind of overweight and that is normal. Um, I wouldn't argue about that if it is like genetics. Still, I would suggest everyone to just take precautions and if you feel like your your genes actually might be very just um lean to like make you obese you have to take precautions for example you have to just um eat healthy you have to work out more and i would say that's my case i'm working out a lot because i know that my parents gene um is not be the best when it comes to obesity so i have to try very hard to just not gain extra weight and seriously it's going to impact me like crazy if i would just eat something i'm getting just let's say i'm I'm just gaining like two pounds or something like that it's just crazy and yeah so i have to be very careful um i'm going to talk talk more about this <laughs> just talking about obesity seriously it's just making me nervous but yeah uh the next section gonna be better it's just all about diet